Hi guys, welcome back. So today we've got this Mark 7.5 Golf R in for an APR stage two ECU upgrade, um, DSG software and hardware to suit as well. And um, before we jump into it, don't forget to um, hit the subscribe button, also the notification bell, and then you won't miss when any of our new videos go live. So yeah, so we're installing the APR, um, stage two ECU software, DSG software, um, race in line, four piece intake system, and a Scorpion downpipe as well. Um, so obviously, uh, this car is obviously having the APR Stage 2. And the reason why we're fashionate with APR Stage 2 is because before they stopped uh, making the Stage 2 available, this customer actually had it flashed um, and then reverted it back to standards. And that's allowed us to basically flash it today. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna get the um, car on the dyno, do some baseline wide road runs. Um, obviously once we've fitted all the parts, we're gonna do the um, dyno runs as well and then compare the before and after figures. Um, and obviously record the standard exhaust and intake sounds and compare it to uh, once we've got the Scorpion exhaust fitted and the race line intake. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna go on the dyno and show you what sound of power it's making. Okay, so um, we've had the car on the dyno, so the car's making around about um, 310, 313 horsepower um, standard. And now we've got some of the parts we're gonna be upgrading it with. Um, obviously, once we install all this, we're gonna be installing the APR stage two ECU software as well. Um, yeah, so let's walk you through it. So first off, we've got the Scorpion downpipe. So this customer's opted for just the downpipe only, so leaving the factory catback exhaust um, intact. So it's not gonna to be too loud it's not going to be too obvious that he's had an exhaust upgrade up on this, um, but it's still going to improve like the tone and the volume a little bit. But most crucially, it's going to be um, replacing the really restrictive factory cat. So obviously with the APR software, I'll be able to adjust the parameters a little bit more and they can get a little bit more power and torque, um, especially like boost response as well. Um, so then we've got the um, R600 intake system. So this is the whole kit. So we've got the R R600 intake. So that's going to replace the standard air box. You've got a full intake um, across the front of the car and also the high flow foam filter. Um, and then you've got the intake hose which goes from the air box down to this 90 degree elbow. This elbow replaces the really um, restrictive factory item. Um, so that improves power a little bit and also the response as well. And then just down here, we've got the turbo muffler. Um, so we'll show you a comparison of the factory turbo muffler and then the high flow muffler from um, racing line a little bit later on. But basically the factory one has two chambers in it um, or has a chamber in it rather, which basically silences the turbo and reduces the sound. Whereas obviously for performance use, we don't really want that. We want the best flow possible, um, as much sound as possible. So this is a straight through design, gains you a little bit of um, like boost response, a bit of um, turbo noises as well. Um, so we've recorded the um, exhaust sounds and the intake sounds from standard. And then we can compare both of those later on um, as well in the video. So yeah, hope you enjoy it.
so we just finished off the run race session on the Mark 7 Golf R after fitting the aftermarket downpipe, um, the APR Stage 2 high torque, also the APR DSG software. Um, and before everyone starts complaining that um, we've installed APR Stage 2, we're promoting things that aren't available anymore, we're just showing you guys what we're doing in the workshop. Um, this particular customer had APR Stage 2 flashed a while ago, um, had it put back to standard and then had it flashed again, so that's why we're showing you this. Um, so yeah, the car made really good gains as you can see behind us. Um, so the dotted lines are the standard as the car arrived today and then the solid lines as it's leaving um, with the red lines being the horsepower, the blue being the torque. Um, so the car came in making 300, around 310, 315 horsepower. It's leaving us today with um, just under 390 horsepower and it came in with around 300 foot-pounds of torque and is leaving us with just over 400 foot-pounds. So a massive difference all the way throughout the rev range. Obviously almost uh, over 100 foot-pound gain and then almost 100 horsepower gain. Um, but also this particular car is now making the standard horsepower that it arrived with um, this morning at around 4,000 RPM. Um, so everything above that is just massive gains. So yeah, gonna hand the keys over to the customer and see what he thinks. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to watch other videos of ours that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you'd like to watch some other videos that we have in the same playlist, then click here. And obviously if you enjoyed the video, then we'd really appreciate if you gave us a subscription. Um, and then obviously you'll be updated when other videos of ours go live. And you can do that quite easily by clicking here. Hope to see you soon.